Hello and welcome to VAT Control Accounts. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to take you through this question on VAT Control Accounts and hopefully this will be helpful. If you're struggling with VAT Control Accounts, it's probably because you're struggling with your journals and your double entry bookkeeping and you're using the dead click method. That's very much an entry method for double entry bookkeeping and really starts to break down very quickly when you start to produce journals or when you start to have to do uh, VAT control accounts or fixing errors. Instead, what we're going to use today is we're going to use the money in, money out method. And I put a video in, in for you on, on the money in, money out method. It's a little bit harder to, um, to get immediately um, in the double entry bookkeeping for, um, compared to the dead clicks. But dead clicks is really only for uh, using a trial balance and putting it into debits and credits. It doesn't work for these other, other items. And so you may as well uh, just bite the bullet, go over to the money in, money out method and use it a couple of times in there. But once, but I'll give you an example here of the money in, money out method. And I think that, that will work well. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go through each individual item and we're going to consider what's happening to the flows of money. And then also as well as a check at the end, we'll do as what's happening to the other side of our journal that we're producing so that it makes sense. Sometimes as well, it can often, if you're struggling a little bit, do the other side of the journal and you can see what, whether it's a debit or credit or not. So what we're going to do first of all then is VAT owing to HM Revenue and Customs at the 1st of November. So this is money that we're going to pay out to HM Customs and Revenue. So it's money out of the company. Because it's money that's coming out of the company, that's negative. Uh, effect on the company and a negative effect on company's cash is going to be a credit. The other side in terms of the VAT owing to HM Revenue and Customs, the other side would be um, bank. Well, it's going to be debit, debit bank or somewhere within or within our, um, our system is going to be either debit bank or it would be debit debtors something along the line along those lines. We, we've made some debit and we've got some money in and we're going to be paying that out somewhere along the line. Let's now do the total sale, total in the sales day book. First question then is, have we received or paid VAT? So we've made some sales on credit. We're going to receive that VAT. So we've received that VAT. We will receive that VAT in the future. So we, are we paid or received? We're receiving that VAT. If we receive VAT, we don't own that VAT. We're just holding it on the on behalf of HM Revenue Customs, and we've got to pay that off to them. So we're going, they're going to want their money, so that will be money out. And the effect on the company's cash is going to be negative, and because it's a negative effect on the company's cash, that's going to be a credit. Now this was in the sales day book, so what would our debit have been? Our debit would have been debit debtors. Right, let's do the next one then. VAT in the total in the purchase day book. So have we received or have we VAT, have we paid VAT? Well, we've, we've then bought something and we've paid VAT on that. So we've paid it. We'll be able to get that VAT back. So that's going to be money in. And because it's money in that we're going to get back from HM Revenue and Customs, that's going to be positive effect on cash for the company. And so that's going to be a debit. What was the other side? Well, it's in the purchase day book. So it would have been credit creditors. That's what we would have owed. What's the next one then? Total in the purchase returns day book. So these are purchases that we've sent sent back. So we've sent our, our, um, our items back and what have we received in return? Well we've received the VAT back on those items so we've received VAT. HM Revenue and Customs want their VAT so that's going to be money out to them which is going to be negative and that's going to be a credit. What was the other side of, of this item? Uh, that would be debit creditors. Next one, total in the discounts allowed day book. So this is a discount that we've allowed to somebody else. In other, when, we've, when we allow that, that, um, that discount to somebody else on our sales, well, we're then going to be paying them back their VAT. So we pay them back their VAT. That's then going to go, uh, we can then get that money, that VAT back from HM Revenue and Customs. So that's going to be money into us. So we pay our VAT back to them because we pay the VAT to the, back to the, the customer, which is through our discounts allowed day book. That means that we're going to get that money back from HMRC. So that's going to be money coming into us in the VAT control account. That's going to be positive. 
effect on our company's cash, which is going to be a debit. What's the other side? Well, the other side is going to be credit debit debtors, because they don't owe us as much. Or alternatively, uh, credit cash. Okay, so the next one. VAT control in the total in the cash book for cash purchases. So this is in the cash book, in our cash purchases. So we're running um, here a, um, a two column cash book. We've made some cash purchases, so we've paid VAT on those purchases. Because we paid VAT, that means we can get that VAT back from HMRC. So we're going to get that money from HMRC back in. That's going to be money in. That's going to be positive. Therefore, that's going to be debit. What was the other side? Well, the other side was credit cash. VAT on purchase of computers for use in the office. So we bought these computers and we paid VAT on these computers. We're going to get our, our money back from HMRC for that, for that VAT. So that's going to be money in from HMRC. That's going to be positive. Therefore, that will be a debit. What is the other side going to be? Well, let's assume that we bought that on credit. So it'll be debit creditors. A payment made to HM Revenue and Customs. So have we paid VAT or have we received VAT? Well, we paid over VAT, we paid over to HM Revenue and Customs. Therefore, we're going to that's going to reduce the money the amount that we have to pay them out. So it's going to be money coming back into us effectively. That's a positive on the HMRC, and that's a debtor. What was the other side? The other side was um, credit bank. Okay, so that's a full. Um, uh, double entry bookkeeping on that VAT control account, watching the flows of money and seeing how where how, what are we paying out in terms of VAT to either our, our suppliers or our customers or to HMRC them, themselves in terms of this last payment here. What does that mean in terms of the opposite side? What what will happen with our flows of money um, to and from HM Revenue Customs? You know, if we pay VAT to somebody else, then we claim it back from Revenue and Customs, so they will give money into us. If we receive VAT from somebody else, we have to pay it off to HMR, HMR Revenue and Customs. So that's uh, that's the movement then in terms of heaven, heaven, Revenue and Customs. The effect on our company's cash, and then using the money in, money out method, if money's coming in, it's debit. If money's going out, it's a credit. And so that then what we've done is a check. What would be the other side of the journal, just to make sure that we're right. Okay, so now we're going to the next one. At the end of December, in the VAT control account, we have debit entries amounting to 6022. So I've done here, what I've done is I've set up our T account. We always do that when we have a question like this. Never try and shortcut things. So debit 6022. And we have credit 8125. Okay, the following transactions have not yet been recorded in the VAT control account. VAT control, VAT total of 292 in the sales returns day book. Okay, so let's have a look. We don't have one up here. So what would happen here? And we've got a sales return in here. So have we received or we, have we paid back, paid VAT? Well, on the sales returns, we paid them back their VAT. So it's paid. So we paid our VAT back to our, our customer so that we are going to get that money back from HMRC. So that's going to be money in. And that's going to be positive and that's going to be a debit. So 292 will sit there on that side. And we have a VAT total of £24 in the cash petty cash book. So we've paid VAT in the petty cash. That is going to be money in and that's going to be positive and that's a debit. So £24 there. What will be the balance brought down on the VAT control account after transactions above? Okay, so let's just add up this side. And let's add up that side. And the difference in terms of our carry down is the difference between those two. So that would be our carry down. And so our brought down balance is 1787 as a credit. So that would be in there. That's VAT control accounts. Um, hopefully that was helpful and gives you a much more sort of effective method using the money in, money out method to follow the cash, work out exactly what's going to happen 
and then I've given you the check as well in terms of do the other side of the of the journal to just make sure you get that right. Hope that was helpful. Thank you for listening. I'll see you again soon.